Those things. There we go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Teresa the Traveler, and today I'm here with my good friends Barb and Pam, and we are visiting the suspension bridges at Kelowna Mountain. So we're here on the first bridge, and we're on our way to visit Mark, who owns this place. So tell me a bit about the, pl the place here. What gave you the idea to open this? Well, the uh, Kelowna Mountain Park fire came through here in 2003 devastated the property as uh, was about 10,000 acres here on the south slopes of Kelowna. Um, we lived five minutes from here in a neighborhood and we used to walk through the forest and after the fire everything was black, everything was sad and uh, so we decided to buy the property. We chased it for two years, made nine offers and uh, we just wanted to bring it back to life and so far uh, we spent uh, 10 years now, almost 50 million. Uh, we have four suspension bridges, one of which is the longest in North America, um, 800 feet long. We have Canada's largest sundial. We have our authentic cave behind you. We have our cliff walk along a 100 foot cliff. We have a 100 foot waterfall, 1,000 gallons a minute that we built. Our vineyards, our welcome center with our 1,000 seat restaurant amphitheater. And that's what we've done so far. Wow. Mm -hmm. So what's the future of this place hold? What's you your know, vision? Just we want to continue to build absolutely fantastic uh, tourist attraction amenities that celebrate all that is great about the Okanagan. Golf, wine, ski, bike, bridge, etc. for families uh, that will showcase and show off how fantastic the Okanagan is. So right after the first bridge is this large man-made cave. Wow, what a beautiful place to have a wedding or a special dinner. And there's this incredible waterfall coming through a hole in the roof of the cave. So this is their little laboratory where they're testing some different grapes out because they want to produce the best ice wines ever here. So down here we've got the reservoirs for the vineyards and these turn into skating rinks in the winter. So down here is their Olympic half pipe and this is going to be open this winter. Now we're going to head over the Sun Bridge. Wow! Beautiful view from here. You can see the Lake Okanagan right there. Wow! <laughs> okay, I'm coming! <laughs> so this is the sundial then? Yes. Oh, cool. I need help. How does this work? So it's, okay, it's facing right there. Does that mean that, at 10, 11, 12, does that mean That's it's 11 o'clock? It is. Where's your watch? Does this really work? Is this it is 10.51. Oh. Oh, hey, you know, it is 10.50. It's not, oh no, it's, that's 11. It okay, I would say it's a little out of joint. The sun moves it. Yeah. So as the yeah. sun goes up, it will, it'll move. So, okay, so it's not totally, it's, it's not 100% accurate. Do no. not set your watch by this. No. Don't set your watch by this. <laughs> but in the olden days, 5,000 years ago. Before watches. It was before watches, this was. Close. This was good enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look, or, this, this is the same as my alarm clock, because my alarm clock set 15 minutes ahead of schedule. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> never late. Alarm, that's my car <laughs> clock. Now we're at the water bridge. At over 800 feet long, the water bridge is the longest suspension bridge in North America. And this is me bravely walking across the longest suspension bridge in North America. Woohoo! <laughs> it's not too, too wobbly. So if you're worried about safety, don't. Check this out. Oh, well supported. And now we're going for a walk along the beautiful boardwalk. We got the resident chipmunk here. He's just grabbing a little bite to eat. <laughs> 